we will, we will be free! For when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter, Parliament comes crashing down with Boris rules of order! Time to. All righty, we're on the 20th. Let's see, are you ready? As much as I'll ever be. I didn't make the scoreboard yet. I need to do that. But then I'm going to have to go back and re-listen to everything. and like, <laughs> Keep track. And keep track. And there'll and be three columns. You, me, shitty. Shitty, right. <laughs> I was going to say. In April. <laughs> yeah, all of April is just gone. Our, April, oh, whoever you are, get a job. <laughs> all right. This is an interesting one. Whoa. Okay. I took a peek at the answer. Because um, I can do that. So can you when you're asked, but anyway, I wasn't trying to say like only I can do that. Here's she the accuses me of cheating. I'm not cheating because I'm not the one answering. <laughs> oh, you might be cheating because I was looking at you, looking at you. I, I can't see anything there. You have two of them going. I there. do have two, don't I? Yes. So I was looking so at if the anybody wrong can, answer. If anybody can cheat, you can. Cause you're no, I don't. You don't? There's 21. It just yeah. is weird. Okay. Just stick then. Um, who may move to reconsider the vote? On a motion to adjourn, which was defeated. A, one who has voted on the prevailing side. B, one who has voted on the affirmative side. C, only the maker of the motion to adjourn. D, no one. I'm going to stay with A, because the mo a motion to reconsider that... Um, Excuse me, a motion to reconsider a motion of any type that failed can only be re can only be um, re made by someone on the prevailing side. As long as it is in the same meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once you're out of the meeting, it, it resets. Even if but, it's the same session. Right. But once you're out of the meeting, that changes. But within the same meeting, it's always the person on the prevailing side. Affirmative or not doesn't matter because... Affirmative if, could have lost. Right. So, right. And no one... And it did make, lose in this one because yeah. the motion to adjourn was defeated. Right. And nobody doesn't make any sense because you have motions to reconsider in the first place. So, what was C? Only the maker of the motion to yeah, adjourn. that also doesn't make any sense either. Okay. Here's what's interesting. The answer is no one. What? And it's not. I think you, you, you were you got this. You got distracted by the fact that it was a motion to reconsider. Not every motion can be reconsidered. Motions to adjourn apparently cannot be reconsidered. That's what I'm getting from this. So let's go look. Let's go look at that one because I'm. I'm not you sure. You were right. I'm not sure. I'm raising the not raising the bullshit flag yeah, on that one. Yeah. You were right on motions which are reconsiderable. You were absolutely right. But I think what they're saying is that motions to adjourn so cannot be reconsidered. Two thirty-five is two thirty-six. I yeah. know that already. Yeah, two thirty-six. Why? Because they have tabs. I never use the tabs. I don't even know why I put them on there. Okay. Oh, okay. Here it is. Cannot be re characteristics. Cannot be reconsidered. But see page two forty. Okay. Well, that's now see page two forty. <laughs> Yes, I know she's reading it, but th that was one sentence. So. Yeah, it, it's in the character. There are several motions which can't be reconsidered. All right. So, 240, what about 240? It didn't say specifically. It just said go over there. <laughs> yeah. Regarding its renewal. Legitimate renewal of privileged motions and abuses. That's like 12. Oh, okay. Since a motion to adjourn may be voted down because a majority wish to hear... What? hear one speech or take one vote this motion must be renewable as soon as there's been any progress in business or even material progress in debate but this privilege of renewal and the high rank of the motion are sometimes abused to the annoyance of the assembly and the chair should refuse to entertain one done for obstructive purposes so it's almost like um tabling motion where if it fails mm -hmm. if the motion has since changed substantively you can bring it back up again mm. so that it's a, a a changed question so this is almost saying the same thing that as long as business has progressed or even debate has progressed to a point where it's changed the fact pattern mm -hmm. so well yeah look at the very next line the chair should therefore refuse to entertain a motion to adjourn that is obviously made for obstructive purposes. For example, when a motion to adjourn has just been voted down and nothing has taken place since then to indicate that the assembly may now wish to close the meeting. 
If a member who has not properly obtained a floor calls out, I move to adjourn. Such a call cannot be entertained as a motion except by unanimous consent. That's dilatory. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's weird because the way they're describing this, a renewal of a motion to adjourn could be is it's almost like a second motion to adjourn after some business has, con has been conducted in re re after the previous one. Is a motion to adjourn debatable? Good question. It is not debatable. Okay. Because that answers, I'm still like kind of in the horrible moment of that convention where Daryl was yelling out mm -hmm. in the background, I object. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't at a mic. Right. So since it's not debatable, there was no obligation to recognize his objection. Yeah. See, it's, it's weird because they say that a motion to adjourn cannot be renewed, but yet they say, or that cannot be reconsidered, but yet it can be renewed if something happens. It can be renewed as which, long as there's been progress, which makes the situation different. People might not have been frustrated in when debate first started, but 15 minutes later, after Aaron has been on the mic two, ten times, yeah. then they might be annoyed enough to be willing to adjourn. That's true, but the, it, this, this is what's throwing me, throwing me here. Okay, the way they're describing a renewal of a motion to mm -hmm. adjourn after some business has been conducted, to me, is identical of moving to reconsider the motion, which can happen after a business has been conducted. Well, it's not identical, because I'm... Uh, it cause seems I, like it. It seems like it, but a motion to reconsider, in theory, could be done immediately after the vote. Hmm. If, if it seemed like, if, if like, a motion to reconsider can be done if if the person looks around and realizes that half the people weren't paying attention, for instance. Hmm. So, I see what you're saying, but there is a little bit of a difference. Well, that's fair. And there, and there's no. Um, Restriction on who can make it with a renewal. It's, I mean, the way the way this is described, though, it almost sounds like, well, you can't move to reconsider it unless something gets done. Then you can. Whereas right. another regular motion to reconsider can happen at any time, but usually that doesn't happen immediately anyway. It usually happens right. after something's been done. But there isn't as much restrictions. A right. Renewal can be done by anybody. Yeah. So it's mm, <laughs> right. I'm not going to call it a shitty question. I'm going to call it running a yellow light. <laughs> I mean, the rule is weird. Yeah. It, it isn't really... The, the question was absolutely right. It's yes. just that you're... It's like, why does Roberts do that kind of thing? Exactly. All right. Good short one. Give easy editing for me. Adjourned. Don't, don't reconsider, but you can renew it later. <laughs> I think this renewal expired. <laughs> Fever. Let's hear the opposition side Like a stubborn donkey's bray All opposed, you say nay Opposed, opposed The motion carries anyway